A lot of crazy stuff that's popped up over the past day. We actually have footage from the Game Developers Conference, and man, it is funny. Now, I showed a panel list from this conference in my last video, and there is a lot of nonsense going on at the Game Developers Conference. Uh, there's about 15% of all panels are dedicated to woke nonsense. And then there's this. They had a meltdown over the whole sweet baby thing over the weekend. You know, a lot of them were talking about this. And some of them went nuts. Literally, I'm going to show you. They're like, they're two minutes of hate. So, Grums... Hashtag GDC is going nuts. Why do they always scream like babies? And the lie gets repeated again. This is response to this screenshot right here where the ge the developers needed a good scream. They needed a good scream. And we have footage of that scream. <laughs> so Learning the Law posted this. Western game developers screaming at GDC 2024 against Gamergate 2 patriarchy, and the industry. Totally sane behavior. No wonder they end up making female characters look like vegan gremlins. The West has fallen. So, apparently, this footage is the people at GDC just having a good scream. You know, they're, they're mad that people have found out about their bullshit, and they want to go out into the grass and do this totally normal behavior. Totally normal, totally fine. Keep in mind that there's thousands of people that are going to that conference and they can only get 50 people to join their screen fest. So, yeah, a lot of just weird stuff going on there. This isn't the only thing, though. I mean, this is really starting to kick off. IGN is now getting involved. I don't think that they've really said anything until now. But now they're, of course, siding with the weirdos, which should be expected. Uh, modern day IGN is a stone throw from Kotaku and Polygon. And when they start to get more desperate for money, uh, they're going to start going down that route too. And you'll start seeing articles about how to use butt plugs and Animal Crossing at the same time, just like Kotaku does. Uh, but a lot of stuff like this is really important that's coming out. Savvy, at, at Madam Savvy over on Twitter, doing some great work putting these threads together that show you just how far the rabbit hole goes on this stuff. And it's really concerning to me that tax dollars are funding some of these companies like Sweet Baby. Uh, today's data dump will look into AnyKey and one of their affiliates, N-A-S-E-F, AnyKey, lists Take This Org as an affiliate. And they list N-A-S-E-F further down, who is D-H-S funded, meaning taxpayer dollars. And this is the group right here uh, funding a lot of the shit that's been going on. And they're giving your money to these companies like Sweet Baby. The reason for this is because AnyKey lists many affiliated programs and have a heavy focus on DIE on all of their pages. And I was curious about who they worked with. As always, links will be provided in all the posts. So background information on this. Take This Org is the nonprofit Dr. Calrit wrote for an article for defending SBI and linking to the Kotaku article that misrepresented the start of GG2. 
See, now you have academic people using that Kotaku article for their stuff. See how this works? <laughs> they just cite each other over and over again. It's funny. Uh, but it's not just the video game stuff that this happens with. This happens with all mainstream news, by the way. Uh, they all just cite each other. You can follow links to nothing eventually because they just keep citing their own people. Any key is a diversity, equity, and inclusion an inclusion group that has partnered with many different non-part Profits and individuals across the board. They list take this org as one of their partners. Any key aims to promote DEI in the esports world. NASEF, Network of Academic and Scholastic Esports Federations, is DHS funded as of 2022 and has received 750000 U.S. dollars. Wow. So, great work by her. Another interesting thing that's going on is the fact that Take This also did some panels at the conference. In fact, they held two talks at GDC. Uh, Advocacy, Microtalks, Culture, Civics, and Karma. And then Retaining Diverse Employees Taking the Next Step and DEIB. But there's one more thing. Another game got added to the curator list over on Steam, and it's called Flintlock The Siege of Dawn. Now, the reason he added that is because it involved Kim, the CEO of Sweet Baby, and he tried to get answers from them, Cabrutus is doing great work. And they said that they weren't working with Kim anymore. They dumped her. And he asked for proof. He didn't get any. They refused to give him any proof that there, that she didn't work on that game. Uh, Grums also talking about it. So A44 Games told Cabrutus that they had removed all Sweet Baby content and asked to not be put on his curator list when Cabrutus asks them to prove it. They actively refuse to talk to him. I think I know why. I found the COO of A44 that has hired SBI also did these talks on DEI. No wonder. And to end this story, apparently they did get rid of her. Now, this is from... This is from 10.38 p.m. as of last night. It looks like the COO, COO that hired Sweet Baby is no longer with A44 Games. If they have genuinely dropped SBI, as I told Cabrutus, they could make a huge splash by announcing this. But the game is probably already made, so it probably already has Sweet Baby influence. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, I'll probably just avoid that game because I don't want any. But it's funny... Like, they know the power of this curator list now, and they actively don't want to be on it, especially smaller developers, indie developers, right? They have this Flintlock game coming out, and I don't know anything about A44 games. We can take a look and see if they have a lot of followers. No, they have 9,000 followers, so probably not a big company. The last place they want to be is on a curator list with hundreds of thousands of people that aren't going to buy your game and, in fact, are going to put a stigma on it because anybody working with Sweet Baby is going to face stigma. So, yeah, they don't want to be on that. But it's funny that they refuse to really acknowledge if she worked on that game or not. And if she did, like, I'm not going to buy that game, and that's going to spread. Word of mouth is the most powerful thing to spread media anything really but uh, word of mouth is going to spread the fact that they worked with sweet baby that curator list is bigger than the actual number because that's 300,000 people they're going to tell all of their friends about sweet baby and all the bullshit going on so that's just something you don't want if you're a small developer and you know you're going to have to make a choice do you want to please 
a, a niche group of woke radicals? Or do you want to make money on a game? I mean, it's, it's pretty simple, in my opinion. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed to that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.